And now it's my enormous pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker. He too is a global citizen. He attended high school in Cairo and earned a bachelor's degree at Georgetown University in Washington, DC, before returning to the UAE to serve as the Director of International Affairs for the Crown Prince. Since 2008, he has been the prominent and respected ambassador of the United Arab, Arab Emirates to the United States. In this role, he has significantly strengthened the ties of friendship and cooperation between our two countries, spanning the realms of security, trade, and diplomacy, as well as education, philanthropy, and culture. Very close to all of our hearts, of course, has been his deep and steadfast support for NYU Abu Dhabi, support that began early in the university's development and that continues to this day. He was one of the people who helped define the dream of NYU Abu Dhabi, i.e. that it would attract the world's top students and faculty, that it would be a true, truly global institution, and that it would serve as a model for openness and understanding. And he's told me that eight years later, NYU Abu Dhabi has fulfilled every aspect of that dream. A cherished partner and friend of NYU Abu Dhabi, he honors us by his presence here today. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please join me in welcoming His Excellency Youssef al Oteba. Thank you very much, President Hamilton. The part of my speech I struggled with the most is this part here, um, the part where I try to explain how honored and humbled I am for accepting this invitation. So I'm not going to try. <laughs> uh, but I have a question. The class of 2014 commencement speaker was Bill Clinton. <laughs> class of 2015 former Prime Minister Gordon Brown and Sheikh Nahyan, our own iconic former Minister of Education. So class of 2016, what have you done? <laughs> Did you vandalize Vice Chairman Al Bloom's house? Let me begin by thanking a few people. First, I want to say thank you to the entire NYU administration and faculty who believed in this important academic endeavor from the beginning and brought it to life here today. And I want to thank every single staff member that works in NYU Abu Dhabi, everyone who turns on the light and makes this magnificent facility function every single day. Second, thank you to Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed and John Sexton for believing in this very ambitious dream from the beginning and sticking to it. And if you know John, then we also have to thank Charlie. For the few of those of you who don't know Charlie, Charlie is not a mythical character. Charlie is a famous teacher that John had and was arguably one of, if not the most influential person in John's life and is responsible largely for who John is today. So if we have to thank John, we have to thank Charlie. <clears throat> Charlie. I also want to thank all the students. So not just the graduating class, but the entire student body of NYU Abu Dhabi. You are the reason we're all here today. 
all these very impressive and accomplished people up here, they wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. A very special thank you to the parents. The parents took a risk. They decided it was okay for their kids to come to NYU Abu Dhabi, a school that six years ago didn't exist. And thank you very much for showing the courage that it's okay for your children to come to a university that sprang out of the desert. Last and certainly not least, I especially want to thank the class of 2016. Thank you for simply being who you are. All of you are setting an example for others to follow, and you deserve a very big round of applause on your graduation. My talk today to you will be described in two ways. It will be short and it will be uninspiring. <laughs> it's going to be short because I think our collective attention spans are shrinking by the day. But it's going to be uninspiring and I'll tell you why. I have a theory. I could very easily stand up here today and tell you all you should seize the day. Live your dreams, seek adventure, and never back down. And you know, that would all be normal. That would be par for the course. But here's the catch. You've already done all that, and you're just now graduating. So instead of me trying to inspire you, I'd like to take a few moments to tell you how you're inspiring me. There are three things that stand out in particular. First. You inspire me by being bold and innovative thinkers. The very fact that you decided to come to Abu Dhabi and be a part of this new school shows an appetite for seizing opportunities and creating change. At a time when far too many people are stuck looking backwards, arguing about the past, you are challenging assumptions and looking to, look to build a new future. That approach to life has been an integral part of your experience through internships at places like IBM, 2454 and Amazon, through your participation in the Drones for Good Awards and the Angel Hack competition and countless other ways. Innovation is not just a buzzword here, it's a mindset and a culture that shapes everything you do. It's the key ingredient that has moved society forward throughout history the telescope, the compass, the steamboat, the airplane, the internet. These all came about thanks to people who saw the world not as it was, but as it could be. Solving the problems your generation faces will depend upon your ability to think and act with bold creativity, whether it's on a Mars mission or on a movie set or at the UN or in the lab. Second, you inspire me by embracing and sharing an attitude of tolerance and openness to others. At a time when so many forces in the world are seeking to create and deepen divisions, you're proving that when we engage genuinely with people from other backgrounds, we learn and we grow. We become better for it as individuals and as a society. It's something that is second nature to you. You've experienced this during conversations over meals in the dining hall, games on the soccer field, or late night chats in the dorm. And these are really nice dorms, by the way. <laughs> if Shahbul can hold a majlis in his dorm. <laughs> but it's true, this power of connection is a crucially important lesson that too many people seem to be ignoring these days. Here in the UAE, we're seeking to create a place where people from all backgrounds, all faiths, nationalities, and perspectives can join together to learn, to engage in artistic expression, to exchange ideas, and yes, to disagree. It's okay to disagree, respectfully. This sense of mutual respect and warm hospitality, these are Emirati values. So I don't care what passport you carry, you're all Emiratis now.
You came here from every corner of the globe, but for the last four years, this has been your home. Know that it will always be a home for you. And wherever life takes you, keep this community and the lessons you've learned here as your North Star, a guiding light in both good and tough times. The world is becoming ever more interconnected and interdependent. You are a perfect example of that. But for some reason, people are still promoting hatred and prejudice and division. You're the antidote to that hatred. And this brings me to the third reason you inspire me. You are creating and living a culture of hope. At a time when people from Asia to the Middle East and from Europe to America are resorting to extremism, you are showing that there is another way forward. And rather than looking at others to see what divides us, you look to see what we have in common. Rather than sticking to who you know, you've lived and learned with classmates not like you at all. And today you call them your friends. Rather than sticking to what you know, you leave your comfort zone every single day. On his recent visit here, Vice President Joe Biden praised the UAE for its vision. And he was talking to a group of young Emirati entrepreneurs when he said something that stuck with me. He said, you give us hope. And he's absolutely right. You give us hope. NYU Abu Dhabi was an experiment that brought together some of the most visionary leaders in government and education to create a truly global university. To say that experiment has been a success would be a profound understatement. It's pretty remarkable what has been achieved here in just a short few years. Six Rhodes Scholars and three graduating classes, an alumna who's been min named Minister of State. And the class of 2015 went on to jobs in finance, arts, engineering, consulting, journalism, and teaching. Others are pursuing graduate degrees in the sciences, in law, in international relations, and in medicine. The class of 2016 is bound to do even better. You are more than 130 students hailing from 58 countries. On average, you speak two to three languages. Almost all of you spent a semester studying abroad. You've explored professional fields ranging from neurology, psychology, energy, journalism, education, and the arts. You've learned theories and then observed firsthand how they applied in the real world. You've come together from every corner to create something truly special. From here, you'll go on to become leaders in your fields as business people, as writers, as teachers, or elected officials. And if none of those work out, don't worry, there's always diplomacy to fall back on. But at the end of the day, the road ahead isn't just about you, or NYU Abu Dhabi, or even the UAE for that matter. It's much bigger than that. It's about the kind of world you will create and live in together. Just as you have been instrumental in making NYU Abu Dhabi what it is today, you will shape the world of tomorrow. In your words, in your actions, and in the choices you will make. So this piece of paper that you're about to receive, it's very important, and you've earned it. But the experience you've had here is equally as important. You have a perspective and a level of insight and understanding that are unique to this campus. Now, please don't just think because I'm saying how much you inspire me that you're getting off the hook. No, I'm giving you an assignment. You have a responsibility, a responsibility to be an advocate for the values that you've embraced here, the very same values that will move the world forward. Innovative thinking, tolerance, respect for others, hospitality, and a culture of hope. If you help build a foundation for the future based on these principles, you will lead the world in the right direction. More than that, you will write the next great chapter in the history of human endeavor. Or as Charlie would say, 
play another octave on the piano. Today, in the palm of your hand, you've got smartphones and Snapchat and Netflix. All of those just started as ideas in the minds of people just like you. Which one of you will pioneer the next great step in technology? Or in medicine? Or in transportation? Which one of you will create the new Uber or Tesla? Today, we face the horrifying realities of extremism, climate change, and forces that seek to divide us. Which one of you will come back here in 20 years and give the commencement address to the class of 2036 and talk about how you overcame those challenges and created a different kind of world? A world where people choose books over guns. A world where people innovate and look forward instead of looking back. A world where people focus on what brings them together, not what drives them apart. A world where people build bridges, not walls. Don't ever stop being bold. Don't ever stop embracing other ideas. Don't ever stop embracing other people. By choosing to come here, you've already taken a big leap. Let it be the first of many more. Go show, go show the world that we are so over conflict, hatred, and extremism. Show the world that over here, we're all about tolerance, innovation, and hope. I told you it was going to be short. But as for the uninspiring part, it is you all that have been inspiring me. Thank you and congratulations. Presently, Ambassador Al Taba, in appreciation for those truly inspiring words from them and from you, uh, and in recognition of your extraordinary impact on this society and on a more responsible and cooperative world. On behalf of the NYU Abu Dhabi and the NYU New York communities, it is our great privilege to confer upon you the NYU Abu Dhabi Global Leadership Award. We hope this award will bring you even closer to a community which since its inception has treasured your membership in it. Warmest congratulations, sir.